and welcome to another exciting edition of Street Combat Systems. Today we're going to do the knife hand, the angled knife hand to the nose and the eye socket. And that's something you can do from their defensive position. If you're here, you can just lunge in, throw that knife hand, hit them across the nose and the eye socket, all in one fell swoop, causing extreme pain and damage to your attacker. Plus, you can follow it up with uh, an open hand palm strike to the side of the head. You can follow it up with a, a palm to the face. Uh, or you can do all three at the same time. So from here, you're coming in. All the other things that I've been doing for the last uh, five years on this channel, and yeah, I've been on here five years. I kind of slacked off because I have a my own business and that takes up most of my time. Like seven days a week. So when you see me on my son's videos, if you're following him as well, he pops in because I work uh, from home and he'll catch me for, you know, 30 minutes to an hour and get some footage in and, you know, he unleashes my uh, inner personality, which is all fucking clown. Anyway, from again, from here, you can also, even if you get caught off guard and your hands aren't up in that defensive position, even from, you know, your hands down at your hips, you can step in. Remember, you're coming in on an angle, so you're catching the nose, the big part of the nose, and the eye socket all at the same time. So you're going to crush his nose, which is going to cause the eyes to water to begin with, and you're going to totally blind him in the eye that you're striking for a, a temporary period. And remember, these techniques are for self-defense purposes only. I don't want you going out in the street acting like a bunch of maniacs beating the shit out of people okay just keep that in mind it's between me and you again from here step in drop that weight a little bit throw that angled knife hand to the nose and the eye socket okay move your weight forward torque in your body palm strike open hand to the opposite side come back with another open hand if they're still up, grab them by the, the neck, pulling them in, throwing a knee into the ribs or the balls, depending upon how tall you are and how big you are and how strong you are. Those things all have a lot to do with the way your tech, what effect your techniques will have on your attacker. The weaker you are, the harder you're going to have to try. You need to do some push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups. Get your asses in shape. So again, from here, you want to step in. Well, throw that strike to the nose and the eye socket. Follow it up with a palm to the nose. Open hand to the side of the head. Another open hand, opposite side of the head. So again, if you can do it from the lower, with your hands at your uh, hips, if you're caught off guard. One in the throat for good measure. Fight's over. Go home, relax. You saved your ass. I'm proud of you. So again, slowly. Angle strike, angle sword strike to the nose and the eye socket. Palm to the nose. Open hand to the side of the head. Hook it around to the other side of the head. And when I say hook around, you're creating that moment, that uh, momentum. You're shifting your weight down and coming up. Real simple. So again, from here. Now how long did that take? That was at least six strikes in the blink of an eye. So again, practice that. And yeah, you gotta get in shape. If you wanna sit around on the fucking couch eating Cheetos, you're not gonna accomplish anything. Before you go to bed at night or when you wake up in the morning, do some push-ups, do some sit-ups, do some body squats. There's tons of YouTube channels that'll show you how to get in shape, okay? If you want me to do some stuff, because we got enough stuff here in our home gym, I can show you a whole bunch of different things to get in shape, to get stronger, to get leaner, etc. Anyway, practice that. Next video, this old fucker's gonna see if he can still do a Spin it back and you can knock Bob over. Bob's got about 270 pounds of sand in his ass. And I'm going to see if I can still do it at 56. 
a decent spin and back kick and knock freaking Bob over. So, oh, hey, come on. Buy some merch. Papa needs a new camera, seriously. <laughs> If you could afford it, that's fine. If not, that's fine too. Anyway, have a great Thursday.